What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Game Night Lounge and we are back to continue on with Dark Souls 2. Now if you've been watching and you watched the last video that we had, you probably noticed that I was an idiot and hitting random walls based off the of signs that I read. And there was no opening for a wall. No invisible wall there. So, excuse me, I spent like 10 minutes feeling stupid. Uh, but yes, we are going to con continue on now. Why do I always fall for that? Um, and we are going to... Let me go back up here real quick. And we're going to go fight our first boss um, here right now. So, we're getting ready to head that way. I just opened up this shortcut uh, while we were away. Um, kind of close to where the, uh, where the boss is. And the boss is a giant, so we're going to go to the giant. And I'm not even going to worry about this dude this time. I'm just going to keep on going past. And we're going to take it on down. Um, now, I am hollowed, so I'm going to unhollow myself. We had that already on my inventory. There's a few sometimes out here. We got a couple of summer signs down here, NPCs. Um, we've got Pate, who we'll take. And we got Cell Sword Lou, who we'll also take. You don't really need them, um, but I like the trophies and all that stuff, so I'll take these guys with me. He this guy's a new NPC, so he is new to the universe. Uh, he's got Dual wielded great shields. It's kind of kind of interesting, actually. All right, so we're gonna go through. And we're gonna fight this giant. The giant is not necessarily hard. He is. Um, he's just got a big hole in his face. Um, so he's not necessarily all that hard. You really don't need to bring the NPCs with you, but if you're achievement hunting like I am or trophy hunting like I am, I'll bring them. Um, just because there is a, a trophy associated with bringing them to a boss fight and stuff. But um, you can take care of this guy pretty much solo if you wanted to. And you can stay underneath him the entire time and he can barely touch you because he's wide turns. So, see? Take a seat. Watch out for his uh, stomp. Like that. Like, kind of like fighting if you if you play Dark Souls 3, it's like, kind of like fighting the giants inside of uh, the cathedral. for just a second. Let my NPCs kind of deal a little bit here. Oh, I think he throws little poison stuff at me. Oh, don't get stopped on me. If you're a spellcaster, this fight is probably super simple. He just sit back and cheese him the entire time. Ow, that kind of hurt. Come on, guys, you got this. Yeah, 
that camera angle can kind of mess with you up too. I stay away with my life gym replacing my health little bit by little bit. than necessary but and we got the soldier key be wary of pointless all right cool so now we're gonna come back out of here how did you get down here love to know how he got down here because he's not supposed to be down here so you can't even come through the door he is not supposed to be down here so I would love to know how you got down here there buddy It'd probably be easier if now it'd be easier if I went and just leveled up real quick. Yeah, let me do that. Let me go level up um, before I lose these souls if I die. I don't want to do that. Do that. I didn't want to do that. Um, and let me use these souls that I found. Those two. All right, and that's the soul of the last shot. All right. Bearer of the seeks seek the nest. This. We already upgraded our exercise, and now we're at plus three. Um, let me get my vitality up. I got a few levels I can do here.
Alright, that leveled me up pretty good. Now I can travel back. To continue on. Hate that way the nest is flat on you though. Alright, let's come over here. We're gonna open this. The soldier key we got from the giant. And come on downstairs, because there are two of you and I only want to fight one of you right now. Another one up here. Oh, there he is. Archer. through there. Uh, who was through there? I'm trying to remember. It was a uh, pursuer, maybe. I think it was the pursuer. Pursuer, pursuer, let's see. Yeah, I think it was. Okay. Yep, 
the pursuer is who we got. Um. Yeah, no, I gotta use the. Um, this is like the boss fight. So th this is the pursuer, the guy that we ran into towards the beginning. I won't say t you know the the guy we ran into at the beginning, but the guy that we ran into. We kind of like took off. We like landed. We fell back, and he like never appeared again. He's gonna be up here. Uh, this is the next guy that we're gonna fight, and like two quick boss battles back to back, kind of. So, um, I was trying to see. Still there, so I'm trying to figure out which one of you guys fit all the way down here. Anyways, no matter. Um, okay, so let's go. I was looking to see if there's any NPCs around I can I can bring up here with me. Because an NPC during this fight would actually be really really good. That way he can keep your attention while you use the ballistas. Or vice versa. You can him rolling just on down the stairs. So let's uh let's do that then. sign here too. Just so I want to see if anybody will summon and if they do I can kind of learn how this boss operates before I go fight him. So in case you, ha you haven't realized um, this is my first playthrough. I have never done a playthrough of Dark Souls 2 so if you're like, why don't you just do this, or why don't you just do that? Chances are, I just probably don't know yet. Let me make sure my... Internet options are open. Might just say forget it. Let's try to go fight this boss. And I think that's what we're going to do. Wait, you can. Okay. So this boss can easily be parried. best tactic to use here is catch him in a parry and then run to the ballista. That's like easier said than done because I highly don't know if I'll be able to pull that off. We think a boss this size is not easily parried but he's actually pretty easy to parry. Um, that was not easy to parry. Um, okay. He's hard if you need to re refill an Estus. Um, to get his moves down is extremely difficult. So, parry and run is probably your best option here. I 
that's what we're going to do. Leave me alone. I'm not trying to fight you. into the mist. Wow. That's some BS. Fuck that. I'm just gonna, gonna run try that shit again. Just go through the mist without fucking healing. And then heal when I get in there. Fuck them guys. I am not spending all that time Killing them bastards. Might kill these two because they fucking... Alright, now I should be able to run. Takes that long, huh? Ow. And the bullets is destroyed. Fucking fantastic. back this way. There he goes. So two shots. Okay, that took a little bit more time than I really, really wanted. Hey, buddy. Oh shit! Damn you! Leave me alone! I think it's 17,000 souls out of that though. And you died too, you fucking bastard. Okay, so the pursuer is now done. The lab, the big giant is done also. So in case you're just joining us or you're just now checking in on this video, we just beat the pursuer by using the ballista. He destroyed the one over there, so we had to use that one. And we used the parry and a run and attack technique.
These guys are just steady attacking this freaking tree. Leave the tree alone. Well, the tree slash stone giant, you know. Check it, nothing happens. Now we're being taken. Oh, yeah. Well, hello, just throw me, why don't you? Fire lit. What, through here, maybe? Let's use this soul that I picked up earlier and then let's go level up and then we'll continue on our next episode from there. So let's do that then. Let's do it. Frank, let's bring that to 20. Um, bring that there, there, there. I'm gonna get my nurse at least 10. Alright, and we'll continue on in our next episode. Thank you guys.